saying, though, uh, when you start looking around the house, and we do have a lot of stuff, that's for sure. We have, uh, we're certainly are blessed. The Lord has blessed us. I mean, and it's, it, it seems like it just kind of happened overnight. Of course, I know it didn't, but when you get to looking around, we have an RV, we have the 350, we have the 150, we have the big forklift, which is a 35 series. It can lift up over 10,000 pounds. And uh, we have the three Harleys. We have two Cadillacs and Ruthie Chevrolet. And so, uh, and two trailers. And so, anyway, I guess we do have a lot of stuff. Not as much as a lot of people, but we do have a lot of stuff. And so I guess some people would say, well, you have all that stuff, so you're not really hurting. Well, I don't know why people, well, stuff and money are two different things. Because you have stuff doesn't mean that you have money. And because I have stuff doesn't mean I'm going to give away my stuff for a third of the price than it was that I invested it into. So, you know, you're just being judgmental. Uh, you don't know my... my uh, my scenario. Look, it's my job to be the provider. It's my job to have a job. It's my job to bring money into the house. And that's my job. And so that's my concern. That's a very high priority, you know, for me is to be the provider and to pay the bills and, uh, and to do that as long as the Lord allows me to do it. As long as the Lord allows me me to have a good enough healthy and strong enough body to be the provider and be able to go out there and drag money home to pay the bills um, then that's what I'll do and that's my responsibility so and it has been since I gave my life to the Lord when I was 39 almost 40 years old so uh, before that I didn't have priorities I didn't really care and so, you know, I wouldn't take care of people, you know. I mean, I had, I'd had families, but that's had. So, you know, but, you know, my priorities were never really priorities. Back then, before I knew the Lord, I, my priorities were, what could I do for myself? Not what I can do for others. So, yeah. I mean, is that what people do? They go around and they look at people's yards and stuff and they go, Oh, look at that place right there. Well, that place is way better than my place. They should sell something. You know. Oh, look how much stuff they got in their yard. They should sell something. So, uh, yeah, I've gone through a lot of changes um, in the last... So, as AJ's been growing up and he uh, has all these attention dis deficit disorders and he's uh, rebelliousness disorder. I mean, he's got all these... He's trying to hit his mom and he hit his mom in the head with a board, uh, threw a big boulder at her head and nearly hit her in the head with a boulder. Uh, threaten the teacher. He's just uh, uh, and when he when you ask him to do something, it's like it's kryptonite. Uh, you know, he all of a sudden gets weak and can't do nothing. And uh, so he's just got these freaking issues. And uh, I've had to come home and deal with him so much that it makes it very difficult for me to uh, uh, be on the road and come home and deal with court doctor appointments and all this and stuff and so I'm trying to get out of it trucking and, and try to get a local job or doing something local but each time I try to get out of it I just end up losing money and uh, going in debt and setting myself behind and I just can't seem to make it so I end up going back to what I know I can make it at and that's being an owner operator uh, you know I don't get rich but I get by so, um, you know, and so a lot of that stuff that you see around on our properties from the first time I sold my old 
105p, which I spent, I got that for 45 grand, and I improved on it the whole time. Well, not until I got it paid off. When I got it paid off, I improved on it, did a lot of things, made it into a beautiful truck, and uh, I had a, a, a trailer that I spent over 40 grand for, brand new out of the factory, and uh, I let that go, and when I let that go, I tried to start a new business, and that business was to buy, fix, and sell Harley Davidsons. And uh, the state of Kentucky wouldn't let me do that uh, without getting a dealership license, and so I had to get the RV. And then I got the, the trailer and the 350 for the Harley business, and uh, you know, and then I got the forklift to help me with the Harley business. And so a lot of that stuff is just trying to from start a a business. And, and that was when Biden uh, selection happened, and the economy has been crap ever since. And so I still have all this stuff. Now, I, you know, for, if, for me to get rid of it, it wouldn't hurt my feelings to get rid of it. Um, so, you know, except for the RV, I really like the RV. Um, besides that, we got a really good deal on it anyway. But a lot of that stuff around there is from trying to start another business. And if you were to sell the motorcycles, you'd want you would want to get what you put into it. You would want to, or somewhere close to it. I don't, I don't want to lose thousands of dollars per bike. That would be just ridiculous. Right. Well, I think that we explained some things to people, so if they took the time to listen to them, see, that, 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 that's the biggest thing is, um, and, and, and I guess we're never going to be able to avoid it, we're never going to be able to avoid people finding one random video that they come across that they don't even watch our well, channel. You know, first of all, people are highly judgmental, and, uh, you know, and, and people's hearts are dark, and people's souls are evil and so and I'm not saying all but people in general I mean just look at the world we live in and then when you have a YouTube channel you're inviting all this darkness and this evil into your you know into your comment section and so you know you have to look at stuff with a grain of salt you know you have to realize some people are just hateful some people are dark souls some people are uh, just mean and, and, and judgmental and arrogant and so on and so on. And on top of that, they're very ignorant and try to act smart. You know what I found out about a lot of people that are ignorant? They always try to act like they're smart. I don't see how that happens. How are you ignorant but try to act like you're smart? If you're not smart, don't act like you're smart. If you, you know, uh, you know how you get smart is keeping your mouth shut and your ears peeled back. 